Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So the mini series is nearly complete. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the creations along the way and all the colours and the different tones of the colour that you can create in one design. So today I'm going grey. I know I'm going grey, but I'm using grey on my on my canvas. So using an eight by eight inch canvas, I'm gonna use a grey base tone and I'm gonna play around with some different color grays, maybe add some Payne's gray, um, a black, and maybe just white. I might keep it like a monochrome kind of style. I'm all about having fun and exploring what color is and what different tones and colors we can create using this color series. And it's a mini series, and as you, as you know, I normally use bigger canvases, and I've had so much fun experimenting and playing with smaller canvases. And I hope you have too, and I'd love to know what your favourite is so far. And if you haven't seen any of the series yet, go and check them out. So, without further ado, let's crack on with Going Grey. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so I've prepared my canvas edges. I've painted the edges um, and then it just leaves me to do the design on top. These are the colours that I'm using and this Amsterdam one is my base colour. Um, all the paints are mixed with just water, so paint and water and I might even include a little drop of gold. So. 8 by 8 inches, let's go. I'm going to layer my base. I've got a warm grey colour by Amsterdam. Just mix my colours, but you'll see it's just paint and water. So, I've had so much fun doing this series, so let me know what you think, guys. I hope you've had fun watching along too. Okay, so I'm going to puddle my paints in the middle. Silver. The iridescent silver is going to be gorgeous, I'm hoping. I might just add a very, very tiny bit of white to this. Just a little bit there, there, okay, oh shall I add a little bit of gold, why not, so just a touch of gold in the middle of that white, okay, and then maybe little more of the dark on top okay so I'm just gonna flood the the base with my base color that will help with the the flow hopefully of the paint it is slightly thicker than what I normally use so let's see how that works okay so three puddles of paint, I'm going to use my torch to get rid of the air bubbles, I'm going to blow downwards and then fan out. Okay, all these sounds here, that's because I've used two metallic colours.
when I'm looking at the composition, I'm just looking at how much negative space I want. So that's the, the color that remains on the base of the canvas compared to the colors that I've layered on top. That is gorgeous. I'm going to take you in for a closer look. Here we go. So I'm going to do a close up. I love how the darker greys and that gold have helped that base colour really kind of shine through. I love this area here. I love this bit here. I don't know whether to blow this bit out a little bit more but overall I really like this composition what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'll take you in for a dry version so here we go I said I was going to go all grey look at this I don't know if you can pick this up on camera but how that silver that iridescent silver really just shines on that edge and that gold I love this piece. This piece, this grey piece is probably one of my favourite pieces I've done in this series. Do you have a favourite? I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying this and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week. Bye.